Hi there flat towers and heavy haulers. Today we're going to be taking a look at Roadmaster's bright light non-combination to combined relay box. Our bright light module is going to take non-combined lightings like we have on our motorhome here. You can see that our turn signals are separate from our brake lights. There's an assistant inside holding down the brake pedal now to illuminate these lights. And we can see that these are lit up. The issue with having separate lights like this is that oftentimes at your seven-way connector down at the back of your motorhome, the lighting's not going to work properly on whatever you're pulling behind it because you'll have your left and right turn signals, but when you hit the brakes, the brakes that signal that's sent back here is just illuminating these. And on your trailer, you get your brake lights through your turn signal wires. The left and the right turn signal wires also double as your left and right brake signal wires. So in order to get those outputs working properly on our seven way, so that way when we hit the brakes, these lights will illuminate, but it's also going to send signals to both the left and right turn signals on our seven way to illuminate the lights at the back of our trailer. We're now back here at our tail lights. We've got a flat tow setup hooked up to it. And with the brake pedal being depressed in the motorhome, the light should come on here in the back using the diode wiring kit that we installed. Since we're not putting out brake signals on our turn signals, our independent left and right, we have no lights back here when the brakes are pressed. If I were to turn on our turn signals though, our turn signals do work properly. In order to get both turn signal and brake light functionality on your trailer or your towed vehicle if you're flat towing, like we are fixing here, then you'll want to install a module like this that will break out your brake signal circuit from your motorhome and send it down your independent left and right turn signal wire so we can have brake lights as well as turn signals. So we got our flat toe hooked up. Our assistant is pressing the brakes on the inside and we can see the lights for the brakes on our motorhome are illuminated as well as the lights here at the back of our vehicle. They're working on both sides. So our box is working as it's supposed to. It's taken the single brake signal circuit and split it up into two, going to our lights on each side, down those respective turn signal wires for these. The bright light's not only great for your motor homes that have non-combined lighting, but it'll work with any vehicle that has non-combined lighting to where you need to combine those, so that way the lighting will work properly on whatever you're gonna pull behind you, whether it be a trailer or your flat toe like here. And this is what our module looks like when it's installed. It can really be placed just about anywhere on the vehicle, but I recommend putting it at the back near your seven pole connector because it is wired in line between both your left and right turn signals going back to your seven way connector. You'll also need to have a brake signal circuit wired up to this module. So you will need either quick splices or butt connectors as well as some additional wiring to be able to tap into your existing brake signal circuit on your vehicle and bring it over here to the module as well. You can get butt connectors, wiring, ring terminals, and everything else that you'll need to get this wired up and installed on in your vehicle here at eTrailer.com. And that completes our look at Roadmaster's Bright Light non-combined to combined lighting relay box.